All right, in this lesson here, what we're going to do is wrap everything up by showing you guys how you can create ladder volumes so that you can introduce ladders into your levels. Now, with the ladder volume, we get into some significant changes, meaning a volume that will behave very differently from just, say, a physics volume. You're not just applying effects, you're giving the player ability when you're within this volume. So to start out, we've got the static mesh across the wall. And I was going to set up a volume so it looks like you can climb up the spikes. Let me bring up the cube builder's properties and maybe set it, not the stairs, just the cube. There we go. So we set the, um, maybe the width. Let me zoom out a little bit so I can see the relevant effect here. Set the breadth to about 32. And let's see, width, maybe we'll make it 128 across. So you have something like that. And the height, 1024 to allow us to climb to the top of that room. Now I'll simply drag this brush over and set it up for use with the ladder. And we want to drag it up into the room as well. So just aligning it to the area that we want to be able to climb in. So with that lined up, looks good. So we can right click on volume and say we're going to add a ladder volume. Now if I move the builder brush out of the way, well there we have the familiar uh, brush color of a volume. But check out in the top view, we have this arrow. This is a uh, critical property we're going to have to be using when working with the ladder. Basically, we need to have the ladder need, volume needs to know which way the player has to be facing so he's allowed to climb, meaning he can't walk up to a ladder backwards and continue to walk up. He'll actually have to be facing the ladder to use it. So with that, let me go ahead and open up its properties. And under this new ladder volume uh, rollout, we have a few properties that could be set if we had animations set up, like if we had imported our own character. And we have some mod where that's going to involve a lot of, uh, or ladders are going to be a used element. You'd want to make sure you uh, actually have a, a climbing and, uh, like a climbing off the top of the ladder animation for your character. But in this case, though, it's just going to be like um, a default walking or just because we're using default characters. Right. Now, the one critical property we have wall direction. We want to make sure wall direction is facing the wall that well, wall or what looks like the ladder we're climbing. In this case, it's pointing out away from the wall or away from this. Uh, mesh I'm using as a ladder. I want to rotate the uh, the direction around in yaw 180 degrees or in Unreal Units 32768. So now I have the wall direction set up correctly. And with that I can rebuild and try it out. Play. So looks like a ladder, works like a ladder. So we can climb straight up the ladder, look around, maybe climb back down, maybe jump off. So I mean, there we go, a working ladder. Okay, so that's really going to wrap everything up that we wanted to talk about. I mean, we've looked at basic volumes, we've looked at blocking volumes, we've looked at an overview of what physics volumes are. Of course, even the ladder volumes of physics volume has just been extended. We've got some more uh, control in there in regards to the functionality required for doing the ladder stuff. Uh, the climbing, that is. Uh, we've looked at playing with gravity, with different types of gravity effects and the terminal velocity. We've looked at creating liquid effects such as water, slime, and lava. And then we wrapped it all up with doing the ladder here at the end. So that's going to conclude everything we wanted to talk about in regards to what volumes are and how you guys can use them. So thanks a lot.